Can you introduce yourself to us? Yes, I'm Nadia Kabilike, Tunisian Russian artist living in Tunis and between Tunis and Berlin. And what brings you to Sharjah today? Well, um, I'm here since two months in Sharjah producing my artwork, for which I won the Art Capital Art Prize. And uh, we are today in the new uh, factory of the Bien Aluminium. It's this company where I produced all of my work, all my installation for. Uh, and how did you find the company? Conference. Oh, that was a very interesting story. Um, when I came here some months ago in October for the press conference of Abraj, I met a classmate, Zena Hassan Zebian. Because you, you spent years yeah, of your yeah, childhood in, in I, the UAE. That's why we studied together uh, in Malakif school here in the 90s. So it was for me an occasion to meet again the people that I, uh, I used to be friends with. So when I met Zena, she was just telling me about her life, her husband, Nana, na, who's producing. I forgot this information because when I go back, got back to Berlin, I was thinking in the beginning, I was considering to cast the carpets and to give them this form that would be more organic, like uh, the cloth. But then I changed completely my mind and I wanted to do something very uh, geometrical, very simple, minimal, corresponding exactly to the measures that I took in Venice. So I went for welding. And then I remembered Zena telling me about her husband who was working with aluminium. So I, I thought, why not? I will send him my project. And he was so excited from the very first moment and uh, willing to do this with me. So I came and yeah, I was very well supported and everything went, went very well. Why did I choose this image of the flying carpets? It's because it's the disons, the image which is per excellence represents the romantic image of Orient. And it is related to the idea of boundaryless uh, traveling and uh, crossing the borders. And From Aladdin onwards, it's one yeah, of these exactly. icons. It's, of, of it's, a, it's an icon. It's an orientalist it's Im, it stayed image. In, in, very orientalist, and it stayed in the imagination of uh, Europeans, the, the Occident, let's say. But it's part of this culture, for sure. It's a commercialized uh, culture, in a way. Yes, it's but at the same time, uh, Thousand One Night and all of these stories, they are part of this uh, background. Uh, so what I wanted to do with this work actually is to work a lot about the contrast. It's true that the flying carpet is the image of uh, being free and uh, the dreams and the orient and the romanticism, romanticism etc. But the peddlers, they use their carpets to fly away from the, the police. So it's a way to fly away, but it's also their cage. Mm. Because this is their condition, their situation of their everyday life. It's about surviving, it's about struggle. So the carpet that they use, I wanted to, to make this kind of uh, game. And not gained this idea you are free but you are stuck that's why the carpets they're made with metal which represents and they are like uh, fine profiles which recall the bars of the, the prison mm. so it's like a cage at the same time but they're all hovering in the space and the installation is light very beautiful it's all suspended but then when you get into it at the same time it's beautiful but something will bother you because of the the, the threads they are very linear very geometric and uh, they are close and they metal. But at the same time, the whole thing, it's as if it will fly now. So, um, yeah, and the, how did I... Uh, yes, since it's all about immigration, it's this, these same people that used to be 100 years ago to make commerce legally, maybe 300 years ago, it's continuing, but today we name it illegally. That's it, because the interest, the geopolitical situation of the world and the interest has changed. But at the end, these people, they are... You, you see yourself as, as, basically, this work is in homage to these people and yeah. their situation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, homage in the sense that I work a lot about the idea of the invisible. I started this already with my PhD four years ago, and I think it's uh, something very strong in my work. So these people are there. You can see them, but at the same time, they're invisible. Because the tourists, they don't really care. They're just there to have a good time, and they will not bother about the political or the economical problems uh, of other people or a situation of a country. Mostly, I don't want to judge people, but they're just there to have a good time. So they see them, actually not really them, it's only the goods that they want to buy. And the other uh, category of people who sees them, it's the police. And if they see them, it's something negative. So it's like a, a bothering part of Venice. Visibility becomes it's negative in exactly. that sense. Exactly. But as a human being, as someone who's part of the society, because they are there for years, so they are kind of citizens, European citizens, huh? somehow. They are invisible. And what I'm, this is what I mean with tribute or homage. It's just to give a kind of visibility, but without using the classical medias of filming, making photography, and making interviews. Uh, I try to do it with my way, which is often related to taking prints and displays things from, place, from one place to another. 
So, so in one week's time, um, we're going to be seeing your artwork unveiled at Art Dubai, um, the, a part of the Abraj Capital Art Prize for 2011. Can you tell us a little bit about the um, the visitors' experience of how they of how they are going to appreciate and view the work on site? What do well, you want them to get a, out of it? That's a big surprise for me because I don't know what really will happen when they come. Um, but there are, of course, kind of strategies. What I uh, what I did and what I not expect the people to live, but. Uh, um, th to put them in certain situations and uh, it's kind of a, a strategy is uh, to give them something very beautiful which is very attractive but when they get into it there is a kind of unease at a certain point there will be something that I hope will be bothering uh, maybe this cage effect this thing that the flying carpets the, the carpet is a cloth it's supposed to be very fluent but in my case it's geometrical it's really something very minimal and tuck, tuck, tuck. but at the same time the organicity it comes from the chrome uh, effect which is uh, very watery and it is hovering so there are always these uh, contrasts it's beautiful attractive but you don't feel you feel a kind of unease a little bit like the situation of these immigrants who are there but they bother but at the same time not enough to uh, not, not not enough you cannot the Euro, the Italians or the Europeans in general they general cannot make like an exile massive exile of people so they tolerate them that but they give them a hard life and maybe what I would like to, I hope that the people experience without understanding, even they don't need to know exactly what is the context of the work, but this feel, um, this feel of uh, nice and unease, this kind of contrast. I hope that this will come.